Hi there, my name's Adam from Ascent Data Cabling, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about download speeds. What affects it? Well, there are a few things that we need to talk about. The firstly, and the most important one really, is distance. That is distance from your local exchange. Now your exchange is where the DSLAM is housed, so that is your access points to the internet service provider and therefore the rest of the outside world. And what happens is your ADSL signal has to travel from the exchange all the way through the copper wires to your house. Now, the further you are, the more loss there is in the line. They call this attenuation. The closer you are, the less attenuation and the stronger the signal. So if you live really close to an exchange, I'm talking within a couple of hundred meters, you can expect speeds of somewhere between 15 and 20 megabits. If you're living a fair distance away, like for example I do, I live about three and a half to four Ks from the exchange, I get around eight megabit. And the further out you go, the worse it gets. The distance limit is generally around five to six kilometers from the exchange. Rural areas are a little bit different. Uh, they use a different cable, which does make a difference. So the next things we're gonna talk about are related. Foreign battery, which is extra voltage on the line, and resistance to earth. This is where the signal has the opportunity to seep out of the cable, essentially, and go to ground. Now this will seriously affect your speed. If this happens, you will notice a speed decline uh, and it can be quite dramatic. The funny thing about this is that it normally happens quite slowly. So you don't notice it straight away. It's only after, say, a month, two months that this has been going on that you suddenly notice that your speed is quite slow, when in actual fact it's been slowly declining over time. To test this, ring your ISP and get them to run some tests. They can check to see those two things and if they find it, they will then send out a technician to repair the line. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is high resistance open circuits. Fancy name, but basically what it means is a cable is partially broken. So sometimes it's connecting and sometimes it's not. This can also make your telephone quite noisy. You get a static kind of noise when you use your telephone. Now what happens is when you run a test through a site like speedtest.net, your internet service should be flat, constant speed pretty much all the way through. Now, when you have a high resistance open circuit, you start to get fluctuations in that and your speed test will start doing this and going up and down, up and down. That's not good because that means you're going between full speed and quite slow speed. So again, speak to your ISP, ask them to run some tests, tell them you've got a noisy line and get a technician out to check it out. Now, the last thing that can affect your internet speed are the settings from your internet service provider. Now, they often have a web page where you can change what they call your profile. And you can have aggressive profiles, you can have quite conservative profiles. And the reasons why they have this is because the more aggressive you are, the less stable your connection will be. So if you start getting internet dropouts, they'll often what they call throttle back your internet speed to achieve stability. So check the settings in your internet service providers page. That may also be slowing your internet connection down. Now, if you have any other questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below and we'll answer them as soon as we possibly can. Thanks for your time. 